Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Jeff and this is my Calculated Randomness. I want to give you a huge thank you to all the men and women in the United States Armed Forces. If it wasn't for you guys, none of us would be here uh, celebrating this holiday. Can't thank you enough. 20 plus years of my life uh, working alongside of many of you, uh, helping support this mission means the world to me. Uh, that being said, I also want to wish everybody else a happy 4th of July. This is going to be the Nevesky Gen 4 Infidel. We're going to do a full review. We're going to start off with unboxing. And then I'm taking this out to the range and uh, put a bunch of rounds through it and see what this gun can do. I will see you there. In typical fashion, Nebeski's got their foam inserts in all their guns, or gun cases that is. We're gonna get to the actual gun in a minute. I'm gonna go through and show all the little um, things that come with the gun. Starting off with their typical fashion Nebeski hat. My previous purchase was the Nebeski N6. It also came with this hat, which is right here with a little bit of sweat. Hey, I wear it every day. I love it. So I keep it. You got your standard SOP and beautiful font and color. Flaming pig. We will get to this in a little bit. Uh, that pin and weld it to the barrel is incredible. So we'll get that in a minute. You have your actual warranty card. So far, talking with the Vesky on the phone, just in typical chat. Their customer service is awesome. Here's your certificate of authenticity. This will show you the actual serial number, when it was actually made, whole nine yards. So along with my other Nevesky, I will probably put this in a black box. Oh, here we are. If you guys watched my previous video from the N6, the ultimate gluten-free year old gummy bears. Don't eat them. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can give them a try, but hey, it's up to you. You got your Nebesky lock. You got your QD mounts. I said so cool to include those. Another, actually those are your QD attachments. This is your actual QD mount. So, you got your Nevesky oil. Haven't tried it, but hey, it came with the box. I am not complaining whatsoever. I'll give this a try. And without further ado, here we are with the Gen 4 Infidel in the bag. Starting from the rear, this is the Magpul SLK stock. Um, so far, I've got no complaints about this stock. It's got a good cheek weld purchase on it. Uh, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but so far I really don't mind it. But to be honest with you, I'm probably going to go with the standard Mimlin stock. Um, it's light, good cheek weld purchase as well. I think this is what I'm going to go with, to be honest with you. Uh, moving over to the pistol grip, I believe this is a K2 Magpul. I love the angle on this. Uh, it's very aggressive and the texture is just perfect. I don't know if that comes across on the camera or not. First time using these, I'm going to switch my other rifles out to that grip. Um, the trigger, uh, this is an ALG trigger, I believe. I've never used this trigger before. It's got a kind of a heavy pull, but in traditional fashion, I'm gonna go with the Geisley SSE trigger. That's currently in all my guns. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, moving over to the handguard. I absolutely love this handguard. So this is their Gen 4. Uh, 15 inch and this is the NSR free floating handguard of 1913 rail and it's got a hard coat type 3 anodizing and then this will lead us to the flaming pig and that is going to be their flash suppressor and muzzle blast suppressor so we're going to see if that actually works and then we got our Magpul sights steel that it comes with 
can't complain about that whatsoever. Also comes with the badass Geisley charging handle. Um, if you've ever pulled one of these charging handles back, uh, it is unbelievably smooth. Working our way over to the lower receiver. Uh, this is going to be their Gen 4 Precision Match Billet from 7075 T6. And it's got the hard coat anodized uh, ceramic coating. Um, can't say enough about it, but I can tell you that this looks like a work of art. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the flare on that magwell. Wow. As you can see, the trigger guard is actually all incorporated as well. And you got your ambient controls um, as you would expect. We are here at the range getting ready to test out the, uh, the Noveski. <laughs> Ryan's smelling guns <laughs> again. Yeah. I have to smell the guns and I shoot them. So, <laughs> this kind of my life. So, it's not raining and it's not real windy. This is awesome. Oh, I'm back to this Noveski. Uh, yeah, so I put the uh, Arasaka mount on here with the light and we got the hollow sun. All right, I'm going to stop talking and uh, let's get some shooting done. Feels good. Smoking. It's smoking, man. It's getting a little hot. You feel it at all through the hand guards or anything? Feels a little warm. A little warm. But not much at all. Yeah. I didn't even realize it was smoking until we started looking at it. It didn't start doing that until you started rapid firing. I cannot tell you how good it feels to stand back here and not feel that blast. These do get a little warm. Yeah. That thing really works. It's not a it's not a gimmick by any means. I zoomed in on that muzzle and uh, there was no flash whatsoever. Yeah. What do you think? How did it feel? Felt really good. The recoil is great. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. It's just interesting that the, the magazine, well, you don't even have to push it in that far. It's smooth, it isn't it? In, right? It's locked in. But it's... It's a little loose, but... Loose, but no feeding issues, so... Yeah. I don't know. Don't understand it. Maybe it's a... Uh, just a different design of how the magazine will and... Yeah, I don't know what they do with these guns, man, but noveski has got everything about as smooth as can be. Yeah. Uh, but again, for that price point, you would expect nothing less. Thanks for checking out the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Final thoughts on the Noveski Gen 4 Infidel. I'm in love with the brand. Uh, enough where um, I bought the N6 and the Infidel both together in a very short period of time. Um, as always, I gotta give a special thanks to JK Associates. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of moving parts to make this happen. The Gen 4 Infidel at the time, uh, maybe still is, was hard to attain. Uh, it sold out all over the place, at least at the time. To make a purchase of that size between the two, um, it's something I really do have to believe in. So all I can say is do your research. If it's within your budget, I would not hesitate whatsoever. It is the best platform I have ever shot, and that is comparing it to all the numerous guns I used to own and still do own. So if that means anything, go for it. If you like this content, like and subscribe, and uh, enjoy your holiday. Be safe.